Hey you guys, how are y'all doing? I hope you're doing great. It is Max Imagination here. This video is from the section Home Science Experiments. Now in today's science video, I'll be showing you five cool experiments you can do with water. Now if you want to see these experiments, let's get right into the video. Number one, water suction. For this experiment, you will need something like a postcard or just a piece of paper, like an index card a shot glass or any kind of glass you have that's filled up with water. Now what you're going to do is you're going to lay your card on top of your shot glass and you're just going to tip it over like that with the water in it and now you're going to let go of the hand that's below and as you can see it sucks on like that. Pretty cool huh? So the scientific explanation to this, you may be wondering how? Well, the air that is pushing up this cart, and that's gravity, the water is literally sucking onto the cart because it's at the bottom, as you can see. Now, if I tilt the cart, it will just burst everywhere. And this is because air has pressure, and that's why the cart sticks onto my shot glass. Number two, leak-proof bag. You will need an object that is really sharp, like a stick or a pencil. And I'm just going to use two of them. You can use as many as you want of these skewers. And you also need a Ziploc bag completely filled with water. Now to start out, you're going to hold it up in the air like that. And you're just going to poke it with whatever sharp object you have through the middle. Check that out, kids. It just pokes through without a leak. Clean, no water at all. Like, you just see nothing is dripping, nothing at all. Look at the bag. Now you guys may be wondering what's happening here. Well, the molecules of the Ziploc bag are enclosing, they're closing each other around the skewer in this case. So that's why it's preventing from any leak happening. So let me just poke another one through. No leak at all. Number three, foam machine. For this experiment, you will need a pair of scissors, a plastic bottle, I prefer something small, a old rag or cloth, you know, anything like that, a rubber band, a little tray of some sort where you'll be dipping your bottle in, some dishwash, and some water. Now to start out with this, I'm going to be cutting my bottle in half from this point somewhere in the middle of the bottle. I'm just going to cut it like that. It doesn't matter if it's a bit rough, you're going to have a cloth on top of that. So you can throw this out, you're going to place your cloth on top, like this. Make sure it's all stretched out. Take your rubber band and wrap it around your cloth like that. So now you got something like this. The next thing is you're going to be putting a drop of dishwash in your tray. Like that. And then some water. Just mix it together and that is your foamy soapy mixture. So there we go. And so we're just going to dip a bit in. Make sure not to spill it out the part we're going to blow through. It's creating foam, isn't it? I love foam! Wow, we got ourselves a whole line of foam. Pretty crazy, huh? And that is our foam machine. Wow, we got handfuls of foam. <laughs> Create yourself a foam beard. Now, you may be wondering why am I creating so much foam? Well, it's with this dishwash and water. You create foam by blowing or putting pressure against your cloth, and that's what creates foam, or just thousands of little micro bubbles. Number four, turn water into oil. Now, for this experiment, you will need an index card that I used earlier on, two shot glasses. One of them will have 
cooking oil. The other one will have water. So make sure you fill them up to the rim, nearly just under the rim. Now we're going to start out by taking our index card, placing it on top of the water. Now watch. And you can just pull the whole car off. It won't be a problem. And now we're done. All the water's at the bottom and all the oil has run. So what really went on is that the oil is a lot lighter than water, if you guys don't know. It'll always rise up to the top of water. And since water's heavier, it'll go down to the bottom. And that's where we placed oil at the bottom and water at the top, and they were they just switched places like that. And that was our water into oil experiment. Number five, rising water. For this experiment, you will need a plate of water, a few drops of food coloring, I'll be using some red, a candle that will fit inside your glass, and that's what you're gonna need to do this experiment. So we're going to first start out by dripping some of these drops of food coloring. Wow, that looks beautiful. Dropping those, some blood. I'm going to mix it around a little bit to make sure that the water turns reddish pink. Now we're going to light our candle right here. Make sure it's lit. Place it in the center. Now, here comes the magic. We're gonna take our slim glass and put it on top. Wow, that is pretty cool, guys. It just sucked all the water, like some of the water right up to the glass. That's pretty cool. Now there's smoke inside it. <laughs> that looks so awesome. So what's happening here? The flame uses up the oxygen in the cup. The flame goes out, creating low pressure. Atmospheric pressure then tries to force its way in. Because the water at the base of the cup has created an airtight seal, the pressure difference between the inside and outside of the glass causes the water to raise until pressure inside the glass is equal to the pressure outside. Pretty cool, yeah? But on the cheeky side, what happens if I pull them out? Oh no! <laughs> now the air pressure of this room that I'm in right now is pushing up this paper that is holding onto the glass. And since the water. <laughs> Alright, guys, that was my five cool experiments you can do with water. And I'm really curious to see if you've done any of these experiments. Comment down below and share your opinion on how it went. And if you enjoyed watching this video, hit it a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Peace.